Hey guys, we're here on Tree and Chiff Place. Today, we're back with another amazing tutorial. And today, I'm gonna be teaching you how to build this awesome Lego mech suit. It's really pretty easy to build. The legs are rotatable. Not rotatable, but they can move left and right. Um, the legs can move like this now. Oh, Now, let's get started. First, we're gonna be building the remote control, which is eh, pretty easy. Here are the pieces needed. Once you have all of them, let's take this. Stone, and we'll put this so, Yeah, make sure that the first half, little half, is done. Now, moving on, eh, hold on guys, to the first side. For the first side, you need these pieces. Ah, oh. this is just one of those pieces I got caught attached to it. We need a piece of stuff to hold it, and here's the pieces need for the leg. Now, once you have all of them, first, let's take one of these pieces, attach the claw there, like that. Then, let's take this claw piece, place it behind, then let's take one of these, put it here, like that, to add this little leg shooter. Then, let's take this stud. Put it there, then let's take this cheese soap, put it over there. Now, once you have a, now, take that, put it there, then boom, our first Lego mech leg is done. Here are the pieces needed for the next leg. This is just a cheese soap attached to a one by two plate, and then you know what it is. First, let's take one of these and attach it there. Take a one by one plate, place it behind. Then let's take a one by two plate, then place it there. Then take a right cheese slope, place it there, and take this one by one brick with a stud coming out of it. Then take one by one round towel. Take one. Of, then you want to take one of these rhino pieces. Like this. Then boom. Our second Lego leg is a. Officially done. Now let's move on to the arm. Pieces needed. Now, once you have all of them, first let's take this one by two plate, catch this right there, like that. And take one of these pieces, this on top, like that. Let's take this TV camera, put this firebolt right there, and put this sleeper right there, like that. That should be a good axis for the shooter. Then take this claw piece, eh, right there. Take this side, put it there, like that. Now let's attach the fender, and boom. Our first wiggle arm is done. The second wiggle arm is pretty easy. You need this piece, then you need this piece, this piece, and these two. Once you have all of them, first take the one by two jumper plate, place it on top of your one by two plate. Then take one of these pieces, place it on top, attach that there, then take the claw piece, place it on like that. Now moving on to kind of the main thing that holds the arms. And has a little jetpack that I forgot to mention earlier. Here are the parts needed for the jetpack and the part that holds the arms. So once you have all of them, take a one by two plate, then attach both of these pieces on. First, flip it over, then attach this one, these both on, like that. Then take both of these and take this claw piece. Right there, and take this other claw piece. Yeah, yeah. Place it right there, so flip it over. And to be specific, you need to place it like this. So two of these one by two plates. Place right here. And on the other side. And take 
two of these type of pieces with an under, like this. Now, what you want to do is you want to act on if it is over, because I accidentally kind of sort of acted it on there. Then you want to now let's take one of these pe two of these pieces, and one of these, put it there, and take one still to place it on top, like that. Now let's do the same for the other one, like that. Now let's place it close. Ah. Oops, guys, did a little bit of out on my stick. A little bit wrong. Now, this part is done. And while we're at it, you might as well connect the arms. This you want to connect this one and to connect like that. Other arm, connect like that. Now let's just put that aside. To make the body, you need a 2x3 plate, another 2x3 plate, 1x3 plate, and a 1x2 plate. So once you evolve them, take two of these 1x3 plates, put this in there. A one by two plate, is it under like that? Put that right there. Now, to, now I need a one by two brick and a one by two plate and two uh, these kind of pieces. Let me get it. Now, once you have all of them, first you want to take one of these one by two bricks, then place it under like that, and take a one by two plate. Let's do more under, then the these, snap them on, like that, turn, so the figure could stay. Now, let's connect all of them. F first on the connecting list is, eh, hold on guys, and I got a little mixed up again. Eh. Okay guys, now let's connect them. First on the connecting list, let's take the body. And it's like the mid mini figurine holder. Put it on like that. Now let's take the jetpack. Yeah. It is on. Okay, now it's uh, attached to legs. So now let's take this. Is it there? Like that. Now let's attach the legs. First leg. Is it there? Second leg. I'm gonna place right next to it. It's gonna hold this like inside like that. Turn that like that. Then this, the mini figure, is gonna have to hold. Okay, now, like that. Now let's slip the mini figure in. Ah. So, and then, if you slip the mini figure in, we have to close the mini figure holders. Ah, mini figure holders fell off. Adjust them a little bit, so the ah, everything's falling apart. First, the figure. Now I'll take the figurine holders, connect them. And, and now our mech is finally done. Ah, ah. Now I am done combining all the parts for my mech. And here how it here's how it looks like. Sure the minifigure needs a little bit of adjusting, but after that it's all a-okay. I'm done combining all the pieces and parts. Okay guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to this video, like and share with everyone you know, and make sure to comment down below if you like my mech or not. Bye!